This is brass. It's, uh, I don't know, between, it's about 32 gauge, something like that. Um, I roughed it up. I usually just rough it up with this Scotch Bright, which is kind of like a Brillo pad, but not, you know, like a, what do they call those stainless steel pads or whatever, but different. Anyway, I've got my image ready to put on the top. And I have my transferees image transfer medium here. And so I'm going to put a coat of the transfer medium, not really, really thick, but enough that there's some on the sheet for sure, but that it won't get really thick underneath. When you do a non-porous surface, you don't want you want to get that fine balance between enough and too much because when there's too much it makes the image underneath it makes the ink move around too much and you can distort your image so I'm gonna put this on here I don't usually tape the image but if you feel more comfortable doing that you should at this point you might be able to put some tape on the top of it. So I'm going to lightly press it down to the metal because I don't want any of the ink moving around. The next thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to use this little foam roller and I'm not going to go across across I'm just going to go in little sections so that the ink doesn't move around because it can really easily start to move because it's metal. So I'm going to do this a bit and I won't be using a brayer on this I don't think because I don't want it to mess up the image but sometimes what I do is I use this type of a brush to give it a little more pressure to make sure it is all the way into the metal because if it's not it's not really laying on top the metal then what can happen is the image won't come through and you'll have uh, spots and it almost looks like right here I'm gonna have a spot I think that the metal is not quite the uh, transfer is not quite flush to the metal because the metal is a bit bent and that can cause a problem too. So when our three minutes is up, we're going to find out how good we did. Time to lift this up. First, I go across the top and make sure that the image is still on the middle. And then slowly, ever slowly, I push this down across the surface as I roll the top back. And the surface is perfect.